Hello, I'm Alan Cumming. Today, we're presenting a PBS documentary special about one of the unsung heroes of the golden age of cinema. Jefferson Hall, one of the first and perhaps the greatest boom operators to ever grace a soundstage. Jefferson Hall was an orphan, left at the side of the road at roughly two months of age. He was found by the kind and generous Hall family, who saw the child outside of a 7-Eleven holding a tarp over his head, despite the fact that it was not raining. The Halls quickly realized that holding things above his head was a favorite hobby of Jeff's. At six years old, he requested a Hawaiian-themed birthday party because he wanted to have a limbo contest. The Halls were surprised when Jeff told them that he didn't want to participate in the competition, he just wanted to hold a stick. In high school, Jeff became a hometown hero when he famously saved the big football game, which was in jeopardy of being canceled due to an unfortunate lightning storm that had damaged the field goal. That football game changed Jeff's life. Unbeknownst to the halls, the man who was in the process of inventing motion picture sound systems, Michael Boom, happened to be in attendance at the game. Mike was wandering around at the end of the field when he saw Jeff holding up the post and was struck by the idea that would become the world famous Boom Mike. Mike invited Jefferson to come to Hollywood and present his new invention to the motion picture studios. The studios loved the idea and decided to hire Jeff to help them operate the new and incredibly precise machinery. This was the start of Jeff's career in the film industry. Jeff helped make some of the most famous movies of all time. Casablanca, The Wizard of Oz, Citizen Kane, and countless others. At the time, the fine-tuned artistry of today's boom operators hadn't been developed yet. So, in many of the most famous movies, you can actually see his mic. He was in first and out last, and he always made sure the mic was close to our faces. Really close. Yeah, he was a great guy, that Jeff. So kind, hardworking. You did have to be careful, though, when you called his name when he was holding that mic. Yeah, Jeff was a really great guy, but he gave me a concussion once. When Jeff retired from the business, he opened the world's first boom operator academy. In an effort to cultivate the next generation of boom operators, it was a turning point in the history of motion picture productions. Suddenly there were enough people with the ability to stand and hold things, to lead the largest production of talkies the world had ever seen. <laughs> 